Welcome back to a new episode, how you could read from a file. So in the last episode, we created a form and we created an if statement where we wrote some text into our file. Right now, I want to read everything that we have put into file.txt. So let's create a new file and let's call it getfile.php. Let's type doc, hit tab, create opening and closing PHP tags. And now we can start. So first off, we need to create a new variable with the path of the file. So let's create a variable called file path. Let me zoom in and set it equal to, in double quotes, uploads. And the name of the file is file.txt. Let's create a new variable called output and set it equal to a new function called file underscore get underscore contents. And what this function does is, well, it reads everything from the file and makes a string of it. So let's go one line below or two, and let's echo out output. And let's change the path of our URL to get file. Save it, refresh the browser, and we're getting an error message because file underscore get underscore contents takes one param and that's the actual path. So let's say file path, save it, refresh the browser and let's open file.txt. Let's remove my age is 80. And I actually removed my age is from every text that we added because well, I want to do something with the age. I recommend you to do the same. So save it, go back, refresh the browser and you can see that the output is on one line. So let's add a break. Save it, refresh it. And you can see that we're kind of stuck with a problem because everything is printed out on one line and the break doesn't work. So in one of my previous episodes, I told you what an explode function does in PHP and we can do the same thing to create an array. And whenever we have done that, Every value is an array value, so we can loop through it. So let's remove our echo, and let's create a new variable called ages, and set it equal to, well, the explode function. And what we want to explode it from is every time a new line is created. So let me go to file.txt. So we need to explode 8, 44, 23, 1, 80, and another 80. So where we want to explode it from, in double quotes, is a line break and not the HTML line break, but a forward slash n line break. And the second param is what we actually want to explode. And in our case, it's output. Let's save it. And let's create a for each loop. And what we want to for each is, well, through our array right now, ages as one age. So let's echo out age and concatenate it from a break, save it, refresh it, and the output is what we actually want. And in the last episode, I said that I want to calculate the average age. So what we need to do is go right above our for each loop, create a new variable called total age, set it equal to zero, and a new variable called i, and set it equal to zero as well. And inside our for each loop, we want to say that every time we are looping through it, we have our total age, what I want to set equal to total age, but I want to add every age. And every time the loop is executed, I want to increase variable i with one. And the reason why I'm doing this is that I want to echo out the average age is concatenated, parentheses, and I want to divide total age by variable i. So let's save it, refresh it, and the average age is 33.71. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.